got it. I'm really, really pleased. We'll open it together in a minute. Just gonna get the rest of the shopping in. You know, we said we were gonna have a cozy weekend. I think we're gonna have a very cozy weekend. Oh, it smells delicious. Let's see if we can make this room a bit more cozy. I'm so happy with that corner. That's so much nicer. and welcome back to a new weekend vlog it's going to be a cozy one this weekend uh, we're going to start off though and we're about to go food shopping in Lidl it's currently Friday lunchtime I'm going to nip out really quickly hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter the reason I'm going today is because I've got a 10% coupon to use by today um, I think you might have seen in a previous vlog we managed to get to um the 10% off coupon so we need to go and use that and I was there with my sister the other day and they had a cast iron pot that was in my favorite color and I've been wanting a last larger cast iron pot so we're going to go and see if they've got them in store fingers crossed um let's hope they've got them anyway I hope you'll enjoy hanging out with us and let's have some cozy days together I've got it I'm really really pleased we'll open it together in a minute just gonna get the rest of the shopping in this little lot this week came to £80, that was with the 10% off. I picked up stuff that I didn't actually need, but I can freeze. So I'm going to do goulash next week. I've got chicken. I uh, picked up, I haven't bought parmesan for ages. Actually, that's not parmesan, is it? I don't know. Um, we're going to try this cheese. Um, I haven't bought wine for ages either, so we're going to have wine. I thought I'd picked up the mixed taco beans. I couldn't reach them. I asked Dave to get them. I didn't realise he'd picked up these. It's not the end of the world. But he doesn't actually like red kidney beans. Uh, if I make something and it's got the mixed beans with a little bit of everything, he's happy with those. And I didn't realise. Um, I really love them. But like I said, he's not a fan. Then I've got rice wine because we'd run out of that. Soy sauce. Egg. Foil. Mini wraps. We like doing soft tacos with those. We had those last night. Um, egg noodles, I want to make homemade chow mein next week. Um, actually, I might make it this weekend. Um, what do you call this? Easter egg. Um, Holly's favourite dairy free chocolate, and they had a honeycomb one, so I picked up that. Obviously, probably not honey. Um, some fruits, mushrooms, um, they're going to go in the chow mein. Um, we had a free pan of chocolat, bean sprouts for the chow mein. Um, big bag of peppers and my beloved dish, which I'm very, very excited about. Right, let's open this new casserole dish. I'm so excited. Right, so the cast iron pot that I've got at the moment is a tiny one, isn't it? I just use it for my um, bread. And I've been wanting a larger one for quite some time. Should I change the menu and do something in this tomorrow? We're having chicken fajitas tonight. Okay. Well, just put that beef in the fridge. I'd like to try it out. Oh, it's so pretty. Haha. <laughs> there was a pink one as well. But I'm trying to stay away from pinks. Look at that beautiful colour. Oh, hey, this is going to look so pretty in our kitchen. And we ended up with £3.50 off. So it was £31.50 we paid for this. That's really good, isn't it? Look how lovely. I am so pleased. I'm just really intrigued to see how well it ends up washing up. That is a nice size. I'll be able to cook in this and have some to freeze. That is so pretty. Really, really pleased with this. Right, half past six. And we're starting our Friday night date night. <coughs> we're going to try that new cheese we from are, yeah. Lidl. We're going to have chicken fajitas tonight, nice and easy. Nice. Yeah, I am so hungry. Shall I do open it now? Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Yeah. We are trying Somerset Crunchy Vintage Cheddar. I like it when it's in like this frosted packaging. I always think it's going to look a good cheese. Right, <laughs> do you want the cheese on its own first and then with a piece of onion? Yeah. I'd want to always cut the corner off first, oh, really? I don't know why. Mmm! 
This was the one I was going to buy last time. You told me not to. This is really mm. good. This is. It is really nice. It's almost on par with a Canadian cheddar. Would you agree with that? There's creaminess to it, but it's also got mm. that, as it does say, crunchy. That is really good. Mm. That's a nice flavour. Mm. Mm. I really like that. That's really nice. Mm. Mm, that's pleased me. Cheese makes me so happy. Um, <laughs> please, can you open that wine for me, please, as well? Thank you. Um, yes, I did. Thank you. I think fajitas are a good one on a Friday night. Oh, I have a question for all of you. Um, blue tick on Instagram. Ada and I were just talking about it. Um, have you got one? Have you thought about it? You know, when you become verified, you have to pay each month. We don't. We didn't want to do it, but we know that obviously, if your account gets hacked and you lose everything, you're supposed to get the um, support if you are blue tick verified. Now, we've just tried to post our account and it doesn't allow us to at the moment. No errors, no nothing. Doesn't say why. Um, but yeah, so it kind of then makes you feel is at the start of... Problems. Yeah. So... Oh, blast, they're not meant to go in there. <laughs> Sorry, got distracted. So yeah, just thinking about giving it a try. What do you think? Well, you don't, can't really give it a try. You, you can, you can cancel it after a month. Oh, can you? Yeah, you don't have to keep doing it. Are you tied in at all? I don't think so. I think you can, just see how it goes. So how much is it, 11 99 a month? It's 11 .99. A lot of money, isn't it? I think you should have support anyway, don't you? Mm. Surely it's something they, but, somebody can do. Yeah, but you think about it, how many users are there? Yeah. Millions and millions and millions. Still. Imagine there was a support case for everything. Mm. It's the same with anything. Nothing. You can't get anything for free, mm. can you? Yeah. You think about it, the app is free. And I guess the travel side is becoming a bit more of a business yeah. now, isn't it? I know, we would be gutted well, if we Well, as you lost think about it. it, it's a lot of people kind of sometimes complain about things, but then you think about it, we know, or you know as well, how much time things take. Yeah. Nothing in this world is free. No. But. Some things are free. We have got some fun things to do for the garden. I'm holding a piece of garlic. <laughs> that might be free. That will be coming up in a future video. We're going to do some experiments. Um, oh, you poured my wine. Thank yeah. you so much. What myself. are you having? Um, probably clear and coke. Friday Should nights. I go and try this or not? What, the blue tick? Yeah. Go on then. See what happens. I'm gonna try my wine. Cheers, babe. So happy say. weekend. Well, I've got my drink yet. <laughs> it smells nice. Give me a chance. You're ahead of me. Sorry. I've done some journaling this afternoon for a video for next week. Oh, and I've got to do a travel quote, so I'm excited to do that. So that's really oh. good. So I'm doing a quote for somebody wanting to stay at um, a Disney Deluxe Resort. So I've just been sorting out that, so I'm going to write that up now. Cheers! Cheers! Such a lovely weekend. And happy 14 weeks? 15? Oh, 15 14? weeks are in the house weeks. today. I'd forgotten all about that. That's the first week I haven't remembered. I remembered earlier. So I'll go and see if I can sort this. Yeah. I think I usually buy a different wine. Oh yeah, I didn't recognise the bottle. Mm, I can't remember what I used to buy. You just can't go wrong with chicken fajitas. I just make mine myself. I don't buy a packet, but it's just onions, garlic, peppers, chicken, with spices, tinned tomatoes, squirt up ketchup and some seasoning. And it's delicious. Looking forward to this. We've got fajitas with cheese and natural yoghurt as well. Good morning. We've woken to this. You know, we said we were going to have a cosy weekend. I think we're going to have a very cosy weekend. I've just made coffee. Um, we're going to put Netflix on, continue watching what we were last night. And I'm wondering whether to make sausage and tomato bean casserole. And I'm also going to work on my downloads for March, my um, printables 
for my Patreon. Good morning. Right, we had a good start to the morning, didn't we, with that snow. That was really unexpected. I don't even like snow, but it's so pretty when you don't have to go anywhere. Anyway, we spent the morning. We started watching last night on Netflix. I think, did I share it on here, actually? It was a bit creepy, but it's a true story all about social media stalker. Um, very, very good. Two parts. We finished watching it this morning because I fell asleep last night. Highly recommend it. I think it was it called I've Got a Secret or something like that. Like I said, it's on Netflix. But I think actually it's really important to watch things like that, but especially with it being a true story because it makes you realize how oversharing can be very, very dangerous. Um, and it's something that we've tended to do a lot over the years of not actually sharing currently. So if we were having a coffee, we wouldn't post right there. Plus also you want to enjoy the moment. If I'm having coffee with Aid, I don't want to be, or the kids of course, I don't want to be on my phone the whole time. So I might take a couple of photos, but then we post it later. But I think from a safety point, um, it's not always very good to post exactly where you are, your exact location. So it's definitely an eye opener, that's for sure. So we're now going to film a video. We're, we're going to have a really cozy weekend, like I said, and I've got a recipe, but um, we're going to film a video, talk about California. Um, I've been wondering what to cook in my new cast iron pot, and we were chatting about it, and we've decided, um, I picked up this recipe card in Waitrose recently, a sausage and tomato bean stew. So I'm not going to follow it completely. I haven't actually got everything. They've got fancy sausages. I've got um, cheap pre-frozen Morrison's one in the freezer but we're gonna do sort of along the lines and I'm gonna make it a bit more full I haven't been um cooking as many batch meals lately so I'm gonna get a couple of extra in there because that would be quite nice to have them in the freezer that'll be really good it's been actually do you know it's only 10 o'clock we've got so much done I guess that's what happens when you wake up about half five I've started making my download for Monday and we've also been talking about some travel stuff this morning and oh aid got verified on um instagram as well after talking about it last night it was a real faff it wasn't straightforward at all but he's actually decided to do it because we would really really be gutted if we lost everything um i don't know how i would feel about if i lost mine because my funky fairy i've had for absolutely years and I guess I would be disappointed, wouldn't I? Because I've got, not that I ever look through it, but you know you've got content of like when your kids are little and things and your old, old trips. But we'd have all those photos anyway. But for us, it's more now sort of becoming more Bus of a business, business thing. Business-wise, for well, both the accounts, isn't it, really? Yeah, I don't really want to pay to do. My new one is new anyway, the Aidan Lisa Adventures. Yeah. But I, I, I think it was, did you say about like yesterday, it seemed to be the funny things going on with your account. Well, you said that last night, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, and it yeah. just made me kind of oh, think. Oh, you got your t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, so we've both got Palm Springs on. <laughs> I didn't realise. Anyone think we're recording the video? <laughs> it's half past three and I've decided to get the casserole on. I've been working all day and I've actually um, thought I would take this break now, make dinner and then go up and film my online class. So I've just washed up my new pot and I'm going to fry off these sausages a bit and then I'm going to add two tins, oh no, one tin of baked beans, one tin of butter beans, two tin chopped tomatoes, I'm also going to do a couple of onions, some garlic, vegetable stock and um, Italian herbs and some tomato puree. I'm just thinking really nice, cosy, tomatoey, beany type stew and I think I might th uh, throw in um, a good hand of lentils as well. It's just that type of weather where you just want to feel cosy. Although it is really nice and sunny now and the snow has pretty much all gone. I don't know. For all in this, I stand alone. 
up to the boil done the taste test it tastes lovely and now I am going to pop that in the oven it's really heavy so I've just chopped up the sausages this was in the oven for about 45 minutes and then I turned it off but it's been sat in the oven because I oh, still haven't chopped oh, I've missed two um, probably do them with this actually they're so soft I've been filming my online class it's actually now about half past six I think so it's been sat in the oven but because it's in the cast iron it's nice and hot I'm just so intrigued to see how this ends up washing up but, um, it smells delicious I just had a bit of this it is real comfort food it is so so delicious give it a try it's really really good see what you think of it it's got beans to keep me happy Sausages to keep you happy. It's really hot. Is it? Yeah. You know what I'm like with hot things, don't you? No, as in hot, hot. Not spicy hot. That's what I mean. Oh, what I'm okay. like with hot things. Sensitive. Exactly. Hmm. It's a really good flavour, isn't mm. it? Really nice. It is proper comfort food. Is it? What have you found? Oh. Skin? Skin or something. Yeah, skin off a bean. <laughs> No, it felt like a herb. Well, did it? Mm. Yeah, it has got herbs in it. It's, That's what it was. It's tasty, isn't it? Very nice, yeah. Glad you like it. That was so good. I've scraped out the rest of it, so we've got an extra meal. And I'm going to see how well this washes up now. This is washing up a dream. I'm just using a scourer with very little effort. And it's all coming off. You pleased? Very pleased, very relieved. <laughs> I am so impressed. I did not expect to get the bottom bits where I'd done like the onions and the sausages out like that. I thought it would be a real difficult one, but it's like new. I'm really impressed. Good morning and happy Sunday to you. That dish last night, the sausage and bean, it looked a bit suspect at one point. It was so delicious really cozy with crusty bread that would go really really well um we were having it as a bit of a healthier option last night and very very budget friendly as well if you buy like all the saver options of the cans anyway we're heading out now to do something really fun that's been on our list to do since last year i am planning to film it in a completely i've just noticed a snag there which hasn't been seen um plans to film it in a completely different video because i'm hoping it's worthy of a whole video on itself depending on how much footage we get however if we only get a couple of clips i will insert them here uh, but we're gonna head out now and get an early train so i'll catch you later it is now um monday evening we had such a lovely time at the market yesterday so good it was such a good day um i didn't actually vlog the market as part of the weekend vlog i wanted it to be all on its own vlog it was just such a good day um so if you haven't seen that it's already gone up i will leave a link to that below now the following day it's now quarter past six and i've been working for over 12 hours i've been filming today um an online course i'm doing it's a four-parter and i've just blitzed the whole lot today and my feet are killing me because i create when i'm standing up should i show you what i did actually remember that bambi book i've turned it into a massive journal so um look out for that class it is going to be a proper online class that one i'm really really pleased um we need to eat and i had something exciting arrive today as well which i really can't wait to unbox so i'm going to do that with you as well but um i'm going to make some cozy soup it's just been really really cold today to the point I actually had my fluffy pyjama bottoms on over my leggings while I was recording earlier. This morning I roasted off cherry tomatoes, peppers, onions, thyme, garlic. Um, it smells delicious and we're going to turn it into a roasted tomato and pepper soup. So 
in the market yesterday, and I filmed this in the uh, Froome Market vlog, we bought some arancini balls. They were £10 for three. They looked amazing. They were so heavy. However, they didn't really have any flavour. They were really, really underwhelming. So we wondered if actually they would be more flavoursome if they were hot. We cut them in half yesterday and um, I'm going to put cheese on them. I've heated them in the microwave a little bit. I'm going to put some cheese on and put them under the grill. Cheese helps everything, right? Let's see if this helps. Me. This is seriously good soup. I have ended up seasoning it a little bit more, adding another squirt of ketchup, and it's absolutely delicious. This looks very, very good. I've put parmesan on top of the soup, and I've added parmesan on top of the arancini, which has already got cheddar on as well. Um, I've tried the arancini. It definitely tastes better warmer. Put a cheddar on it, grilled it, That's the best seasoned it, and then added parmesan. It definitely tastes better today. Yeah, it does. This this one here's the pesto. Mm. It's confusing because we think the green one's the pesto mm. one, but it's not. I also wondered, actually putting some of the soup in with it as well, almost like a marinara sauce. Mm. That's really good as well. The yeah, outside's nice, it's a bit crisp, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, let's tuck in. Good morning, today is Tuesday. That soup was so, so good last night. It was, I think, one of the best soups I've ever made. I think the thing is with soup, sometimes it's easy to give up on. You can make it and there's just not enough flavor, but just keep seasoning until you're happy. Um, so last night it was salt, pepper, and some extra ketchup, and it really, really made the difference. Um, right, I've got this lamp. Um, I need to do this bit as an ad gifted. Um, it was sent to me from a seller on Amazon, and we were wanting something in here. It's just not enough cozy in here. I know it will help when we've got the blinds, and actually I want to say a thank you to Megan and Mark, who actually sent some voice messages on Instagram. They're friends, kind of friends, Instagram friends, chat friends. They moved similar time to us, so we've been chatting lots, and um, Mark was so kind and actually sent aid some detailed sort of tips on how to drill into these types of walls and they've really helped and Aid's actually gone and ordered some different types of screw bits, are they called bits? Drill bits. Um, and he's got it ready so I think he's going to attempt to do it again this week. So fingers crossed but thank you Mark and Megan, you've been really helpful. Um, so yeah, I've got this lamp here. Let's see if we can make this room a bit more cosy. We are thinking this corner here will look good with the lamp. So it's a tripod floor lamp. Let's open this up. Lighting makes such a difference to a room, doesn't it? It really does. Let's have a look. Oh, this must be the base. So there was a few to choose from. I've chosen a wooden one, but there was like a black one, um, lots of different variations. Ah, so this must be the lamp shade. Just try to, oh, it's a remote control as well. Ooh, try to TV see if there's... <laughs> I can't watch TV. Um, just trying to see if there's any instructions. Oh, is it in here? Uh, yeah. Is this for me? Yeah, that bit's for you. Aids on legs, I'm on lamp shade. I'm so rubbish at doing things like this. I just don't want to break it. What do you want me to give you a hand? Just literally click that on. Mm. Uh, no, it goes that way, so you're right. That's the top. So <laughs> Actually, copy that's not peanuts. I think that's not a bad idea. Right, I need to do these. These bits now go and attach to the. Do you want me to put those together? Uh, well, it's, I've got to see what goes where first. You know, this leg is the back, it's going to go in the corner, isn't it, really? Yeah, it is. So that goes away. in the corner. So if I put the join from the actual lamp there... I, you could probably do that better than I have done. Oh, that's right. If I put that to the back there... I like that, actually. Actually, why am I trying to reach over? I can do it from in here. <laughs> We've got a lamp with a bulb somewhere. Yep, I've got a bulb. It's with a bulb and a remote control. Does it, I don't know, it doesn't link in with any app though, does it? No like idea. A, I don't think it's smart or anything, so I don't think it's an Alexa or a home kit or anything like that. No idea. But 
you There's can change it. There's nothing stopping if you did want to put your own bulb in like that. So yeah, exactly. I think for a, a starter for 10, it's great that it's got like the remote control. Yeah. You can dim it. I think it was things. about £60. Pounds. Yeah. I really like that, actually. Um, for those who are really into your lights and things like that, it is a 3,000 to 6,000 Kelvin bulb. So generally, anything about 5,000, whatever, is almost like daylight type of light or really bright. So that should be quite nice, hopefully. I really, really like that. I think that looks so nice. I'm just testing out the remote control. It doesn't come with batteries. It's no biggie, though, is it? No. Um, a couple of little triple A's. So off. Yep. On. There's brightness. Ooh. I can't wait to come in here but tonight also, now. Also, Oh, yeah, warmth. it becomes warmer. That's what I saying about between the 3,000 and the ah. 6,000. So it's the, the, the warmness of the lights. So that, that 6,000 is like daylight. You can okay, see the white yeah. wall behind it. But there's also other ones on here. There's reading mode. So if you press it, it'll go straight to that. Oh, wow. Um, there is a night time. So I guess that's really dim. There's a work mode. I don't know, baby feeding mode. <laughs> and there's Kelvin, which I think is just... Is that regular? I think it just, I don't know if it oh. just changes you through the different ones, because it's getting brighter. And so it's the lowest Kelvin, and it's just working its way through. We also didn't realise they actually match the lights that we've already got oh. from the old house, which we haven't replaced yet. Oh, and you can actually, there's a one in there, which I think is a button that takes it back to its brightest. Okay. So rather than have to click through. Yeah, that makes sense. You press that and it goes brighter. So if I change the Kelvin of that. You've learned a lot in a couple of seconds. And turn it down and press the button, it goes bright. Well done. I, I like, like that. that. I like it as it well. Is, and there's a one hour button as well. So okay. I wonder if that just means it will just stay on for one hour. For an hour, yeah. So. That is cool. I guess you could always, and this is something we want to do, Saying talking about smart light bulbs and that, I think a lot of people now actually get the smart plugs because then they can control it using their apps if they want mm. to. So you could always do that with that. But I yeah. like having this. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. There we go. And I've put my new plant on there. I am so happy with that corner. That's so much nicer. Oh, I can't wait this evening. I think that's just going to look so cosy. And we just realised there's little straps that come with it as well, so you can tie in the um, wire so it doesn't look all hangy. I'm going to finish this video now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us this weekend. I hope you've enjoyed this cosy weekend with us. We've enjoyed hanging out with you. And thank you so much for all your comments, all your help, your suggestions, your tips, advice, everything. We really, really appreciate it. Have a wonderful week and we will be with you next weekend. Take care. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.